Build resilience. Teach students response techniques. Now, because the internet provides access to people, bullies are able to attack their victims anytime, from any place, via the internet. Today, schools do a lot to prevent bullying. Our district has an HIV coordinator uh, named Abby Lewitis, who provided excellent training earlier on in the year. Bullies are always going to be around. So Google Fundamentals Training offers some strategies to help students build resilience to bullies. The first strategy, never respond. Responding to cyber bullies just makes matters worse. In responding, you further expose yourself to the bully and ultimately you're giving the bully more of what they want. You're giving them more of a reason to attack. Advise students not to give bullies the time of day. Number two, document and report. More often than not, cyber bullies deny any wrongdoing. In fact, they very often accuse their victims of starting the problem. So it's important for students to immediately document all instances of bullying. And after the incident is documented, the student needs to take it one step further and report the incident to a teacher, administrator, or police officer, or whoever. Lastly, block them online. You can very easily make a bully go away by blocking them online. So use this strategy whenever possible. Though Google and school districts usually don't stress the point I'm about to make, I believe the best way to stop a bully is always to stand up for yourself. I've learned no matter what age, gender, or orientation, standing up for yourself is one of the most important parts of growing up and one of the most important parts of life. And that's a strategy that I'll teach with my son. So I want to say thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series, Maximizing Chrome Browsing. Thank you.